back here at the National Corvette Museum, and what we're talking today is dual clutch transmission. We're going to go through the cutaway a little bit quickly, and we're going to roll around through all the little details that I've noticed about this particular unit. Let's start with the basics. There's your input shaft. You have your inner clutch, which is one. You have your outer clutch, which is two. Your limited slip differential is right here. These are your engagement clutches for your limited slip differential. Here is the piston that forces out clamping the clutch to create the torque split. Solenoids at multiple locations. This is actually probably a shifter fork engagement dog. You look at the hydraulic pressure control solenoids, tapered roller bearings throughout. There's your output shaft. Transmission cooler right up on top coolant in and out, but this sandwich type cooler is what we have in a lot of the oil coolers today. But as you look back here, what do we have? A normal manual transmission, synchronizer hub, blocking rings, the actual gears. It's basically all a manual transmission with engagement clutches at the front. And as we walk around, here's your rear mounting points. This is where it's going to mount down to the frame. Come over here, your electronic connector, which goes right in the side, and all your hydraulic control solenoids. Valve body here. There's another connector down here. So the question is, this, I believe, is transmission hydraulic control. This, I believe, could be something along the electronic limited slip control. This, at first, I thought was a, an actual pump. I don't believe it is. I believe this is actually a type of filter. Now, what that involves, I do not know. However, there's no electrical connectors. You don't see any wiring like you do here. So I would be looking here. Drain plug for the transmission pan. But this is a really, really, it doesn't sound like it's hollow. It sounds like there's something right beneath this. So if anybody tries to, let's say, lift the transmission by the pan, I think there may be problems. Sight plug, take a look, there's no dipstick. So I believe this is your fluid level sight plug right here. So as with any technology, it's going to be a learning curve. The key thing to understand behind the dual clutch transmission is electronic control will be the key. And how it works with the engine control module to seamlessly provide torque to the wheels. I look forward to seeing you all soon as we talk more 2020 tech on the CA Corvette. Have a good day, everyone.